morning everyone so i really enjoyed filming last week's video which is a lot i eat in a day so i thought i'd just vlog like today potentially tomorrow just see what i get up to just so i can show you what my life is kind of like now that we're in a lockdown and i'm working from home so it's tuesday morning and i've just had a couple of meetings i've had my breakfast and i hadn't done anything with my face today yet so um, I don't wash my face in the morning, but I'm trying or I want to try to get in the habit of putting on sun cream every morning. I know it's obviously really important, especially like as we're getting into summer and things like that. And yeah, I've always had this kind of, I guess, almost fear in a way or anxiety around putting stuff on my face just because of having like an acne prone background um anything on my skin i always felt like it broke me out so yeah i'm gonna try and get into a habit where i want to try to so if you guys are here hopefully you can keep me accountable i've got my sun cream here which i'm gonna put on this is the color science sun forgettable total protection face shield spf 50 and some mineral sun cream and i've checked the ingredients in it are good they're safe for acne prone skin there's no oil in there um there's nothing that can feed any kind of like fungal acne so this is a good product uh, it's pretty pricey i'll be honest but i've used it a few times when i had acne and i don't think it broke me out anymore so i've never really liked sun cream it's just never really been my thing and i saw this person online that was like it's better to pat your products into your face than rub so we're gonna do it this way just hope for the best i would say guys like now it's, i've been off accutane for a good like month or so and i will say my skin has definitely changed again it's definitely gone back i would say to being oily like i would consider myself now to have oily skin again which in some ways i'm kind of grateful for because it's so much easier to deal with oil than it is to deal with dry flakes in my opinion it might just be me but i don't know dryness i found it so difficult like flaking those of you that have dry skin permanently oh it must be a nightmare like now my forehead gets shiny again and i wouldn't say it's like oily like oil slick oily but it's definitely oily skin like i wouldn't consider my skin to be dry i'd say actually it's probably oily to normal uh depending on the part of my face i didn't think coming off accutane that my skin would ever go back to being oily like i kind of parted ways of that, like, that side of my skin so some ways i'm kind of grateful actually you know i've been patting in my products like my moisturizer for a while and it's always worked really well for me and i pat in my moisturizer on my body like i don't rub it because i do find that irritates my skin i have such sensitive skin guys that's gone on quite nicely and my battery is flashing already <laughs> i'll get the spare one that sun cream actually does have a really nice finish so yeah we'll just see hopefully it doesn't like start to break me out the more i wear it but i do want to get in the habit because i don't want sun damage and early aging <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna stick with the sun cream i think guys but now i have got to get back to doing some work so let's see what the rest of the day brings i've been terrible today i haven't even picked up the camera since this morning like this is how out of habit i am of doing this I've just been carried away with working and all of that stuff so I've kind of finished all of my calls and everything for the day so I don't have anything sort of scheduled left today I've just got some bits of stuff I have to finish off but that's fine so finally got around to picking up this camera again so sorry apologies oh, I need a drink. I've been so carried away to the point where I haven't even made the bed today so I should probably do that um but more exciting things have happened so i ordered some bits from amazon and they arrived today so <laughs> exciting but let's start with the less mad thing first of all i think this one is a brand called pet dom we have our cat called milka and whenever she comes in my room she molts and molts and molts and her hair goes everywhere like on my chair on my bed on my clothes and it drives me mad so i always have to get like duct tape and like you know like stick it on and get the hair off but i thought right i'm gonna just get myself a lint roller because that's what they're designed for and um, we have one downstairs but it's always downstairs and i just wanted one of my own so i got myself oh this looks really good actually so this is like a bamboo handled lint roller um and i just it just well immediately feels a lot more sturdy than the plastic ones that you can buy i feel like that's an adult purchase you know when you get excited about lint rollers i feel like it's an adult purchase milk cut no more cat hair see this is the culprit hair shedder 
<laughs> aren't you? You're the corporate mini. This, you're gonna think I'm absolutely mad. Um, so, <laughs> so I bought myself backstory before I even show you what it is because otherwise I feel like you need a bit of context here. So if you have watched my channel for a long time, you know I had a varicose vein removed. When was it? Last year, like just over a year ago now. And my legs in general, when you're sitting down for prolonged periods of time, not just for me, but for everyone in general, if you're sitting down for long periods of time with your legs just in the same position, the blood can often find it more difficult to get back up your legs and you're putting more pressure on your legs. So it's often better to put your feet up a little bit on like a footrest. And so I was searching for footrests on Amazon and I came across, I came across instead a foot hammock and I just had to buy it. Like, I don't know why, but it's, <laughs> this is ridiculous, but it is literally, it is a hammock that I can attach underneath my desk for my feet. Like how clever and I just I saw it and I thought that looks so comfortable my feet I feel like my legs and my feet will appreciate this I'm thoroughly pleased with those two things but now so I've had lunch but I am peckish again so I'm gonna go downstairs I've got these like Easter cupcakes over the weekend and we have some left over and I'm gonna have one of those I think because they look delicious so as you can see they're not all here some have been eaten now but these cupcakes were Easter themed so they're made by a girl called Jordan who has an Instagram called the vegan blog of baking and honestly she's like the best vegan baker i think she makes the most amazing cakes we've had her birthday cakes before in the past which you've probably seen um potentially on my instagram but um yeah no honestly they're the best so i had a carrot cake one yesterday which had little carrots on the top which was so cute and i think i want this chocolate one today which i don't know i think i think this is all just chocolate or oh, look, look at that but just even like look at the detail on them like this they look so realistic i would highly recommend you check out her page guys so yeah let's eat this all right i don't know how i'm gonna eat this without making a mess so, uh... mm. so yum this is what i mean about the cat milka sitting on on my chair but I think it's time to try and fit this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put this desk up. <laughs> Hello, me. Okay, that's better. So now I can get underneath the desk and we can try and attach it. So I think I'm gonna not bother with the little clamps that come that clamp onto the side of the desk because I just think that look a bit weird because they're white and the desk is black. I think I'll just try and attach this underneath the desk because because underneath I've got these kind of like grates here so I can like tie the rope hopefully through them somehow. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. Okay, so the swing is in position. I think Milka is eyeing it up and I think she thinks it's her new bed. Like, look. It's not for you, madam. But, yeah, let's, let's give this a whirl. I don't know if I can get it any shorter. That's the only thing. I'm gonna have to put the desk down. I think this is gonna touch the floor. It's gonna be a bit too low right now. <laughs> Milka's face while the desk goes down. <laughs> yeah, see, I think I'm going to want it a little bit higher than that, I think, to be honest. Let me just tie this a bit tighter and I'll get back to you. So, my feet are in the hammock <laughs> and it's pretty comfy. Um, I've had to tie the, the strings quite tight, so I might have to cut them down a bit. My feet are raised, they feel a lot more comfortable like this, rather than just being like flat on the floor. You can swing around in it. Yeah. I like it. Cause I feel haunted in my bedroom. The floorboards in the next room will keep me warm. Cause you ought to know nothing about you makes me.
So yeah, as you saw, I ended up going on a walk with Holly, which was really nice. It was freezing though, absolutely freezing today. Yeah, it was, it was good to get just some fresh air though. It's always nice to try and get out every day, um, even if it is really cold. <laughs> but hopefully we're supposed to be getting closer to summer, but it doesn't feel like it today. It really didn't feel like we were going in the right direction, but nonetheless, it was a good walk. Um, and I've just showered and I'm just about to go and have some dinner. So I will check in with you guys after dinner. <laughs> Never feel alone. So, guys, that concludes the day. I am about to get myself into bed and go to sleep, ready for tomorrow. But yeah, it was a really casual day today, but I think it's quite nice sometimes just to have that, a bit of casual, realistic content. Um, yeah, I guess lockdown life has been very kind of slow paced in a weird way, but it's been quite nice. And this has kind of been, I guess, what my life has been like around work. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a like for me. If you're new here, please subscribe um, for new content every week. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in next week's video. Bye for now.